Hello, and welcome to another East Coast Review with Nemo. Today, we're gonna take a look at a little keychain light. So this is the little keychain light. Uh, I've been using this for like a month, a little over a month. I used it as my only flashlight when I did that uh, eight day road trip through the Tetons and Yellowstone. And then I've just been using it in everyday life. So it's from Nikkor and it's called the Tipsy. So if you get pulled over by a cop and they say, have you been drinking? You just say, no, <laughs> but I'm a little tipsy. And then you shine that in their eyes and then. That's what it looks like. It's got two little buttons on it, and on the back it's got a clip that's removable. It's supposed to be removable. There we go. And this is just made out of plastic. But it's rechargeable. It's rechargeable by USB-C, and the little clip acts as a cover. It also acts as a way, if I had a hat on, I could show you, but you can, like, use it without keys on it. Uh, it's made out of aluminum. It came with this little hook and it's got two buttons. So the light itself has three modes, the dimmest. This one's really only good for if you're like reading or like trying to find something. And then, oh, there's a cop right there. We could tell him. <laughs> and then got the dim one, which is really only good for like reading or finding something like in a small place. Even walking in the woods at night it's not that bright but then the, the top button you hit it to change modes i think this one is like five lumens and then i don't remember how many lumens it is and then brighter and then third bright and then to go mega bright you hold this one for a few seconds and then it stays on it's like 700 lumens this one only lasts for like a few minutes like 30 minutes or something but the, the, the dimmest one lasts for like 50 hours and then it's like 30 hours and then max output 700 lumens, max distance 90 meters, max intensity something CD, one meter impact resistance, it's rated up to IP54, I don't know what that means but that looks like water, so we're going to test that out. So the battery inside is 500 milliamp hours. And the max runtime is 50 hours, so that's on that really dim setting. And then on the side it says tipsy, and it's got that holographic, is it in focus? It's got that holographic to bring you back to the old days of playing Pokemon. Oh, there's so much poop here. Okay, so here's the waterproof test. Hopefully it works, because I like using this and don't want it to break. Definitely bubbles coming out of it. <laughs> Looks like it still works. Okay, so that's good. Uh, a few weeks ago, I came back for, what was that, Memorial Day? And they had fireworks here. And this, my parents' golf cart, they drove over on this and the lights are broken. Are they working? No. no. So I put this on max mode and just held it and it was as bright as the lights are. So you can just, instead of fixing the lights, get some tape and a tipsy. Whoa, you see that? Is that a mode? It might be broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't flickering like that before. I turned off. It's 
broken. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have some rice I can put it in. So confirmed, not waterproof. Let's go put it in some rice to see if it fixes it. Okay, so I looked it up online and this thing right here, IPO, IP, IPW, IP54, a product with an IP54 rating is protected against a quantity of dust that can interfere with the normal operations of the product but it's not fully dust tight. The product is completely protected against solid objects. Uh, it's also protected against water splashing from any angle. So that, that could have been the problem. I've got it in this little thing, drying out. Hopefully it'll resurrect and we'll take it from there. <laughs> so I left it in here overnight, the first test. She's done, so. Okay, so I was thinking about it and yeah, it's my fault that I didn't know what this was, but so when marketing teams do this, they shouldn't. It says rating that, it should just say splash, splash resistant, splash proof. Not even water resistant, just splash proof. And then have the rating. That way no one will ever look at it and go, oh, water. And whoever looks up those things. You think I'm a nerd? No, I'm just an average Joe. <laughs> okay, so what we can do with this is uh, we can test the, uh, we can't really test the drop proof because it's already broken, but we can see what it does. Okay, so it says it goes three meters, one meter drop proof, three feet. Okay, so three feet is like nothing like here that's all it's proof, it's proof for I mean that's that's pretty good if you take it out of your pocket it won't break here's the damage here's the damage little scratches on the metal it'd be funny if it fixed it okay so another thing that I'm interested to see is if it's how strong it is you think if I run over it will still stay up or do you think it will be flat? Like if you're just like, you're working on something, you get out your keys to drive your car and you drop it, you don't notice, and then you start your car and drive on it. Okay, so you're just like driving your truck and then you get out because you're like, hey, what's that sound? Did I break the plastic? And then you get out. You didn't realize it's like hanging out of your pocket. And you look under the car and then, oh, whoops, I dropped it. <laughs> and you get back in. You know, just normal stuff. Did I just run over something? Did it survive? Where is it? <laughs> it disappeared. <laughs> oh, it's on the tire. Watch it pop my tire. Okay, so it's pretty durable. Oh, it got stuck in there. Wow. It turns back on. Okay, so that's a pretty big plus. Not even, not even cracked. Is it focused on it? Uh, no, just... Not even cracked in there. Buttons aren't damaged. Even this didn't even get squished. Oh, that, that one kind of did. Interesting. It's a little, a little flat right there, but I mean, I wish I, that we did this test before the waterproof one. Okay, so waterproofing might not seem like that big of a deal if you know about it, but if you go paddle boarding, if your friend pushes you in the pool, this thing won't work anymore. But other than that, since it's not advertised, it's actually waterproof. I mean, it works pretty bright. Buttons feel, listen to the click of the buttons. Like that's pretty satisfying. I'm probably gonna keep it just for that. 
It's rechargeable. I used it for a month and a half. And then the little red thing start. One of these has a red uh, light behind it that will blink to show battery life. If you turn it off and it, it blinks three times, that means it's like above 75%. Then twice it's like above 50. And then once means below 50, something like that. And then it, I would turn it off and it would just blink at me. And I was like, oh, I need to charge this. But it doesn't blink anymore. So click the thumbs up button and uh, Reach out to Nikor and tell him to send me more flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> you were filming, right? <laughs>